This shooting happened right before the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Many people on their way now as it is set to start tomorrow. Our Erica Murphy joins us now live from Hartsfield Jackson International Airport this morning. Erica, thousands of people will be attending the RNC, many likely flying out of or through Atlanta to get there. Christy, that's exactly right. I actually went to the Republican National Convention's uh, web page before we went live and saw they're expecting about 50,000 people to attend that convention. As you said, it begins tomorrow in Milwaukee, and many of the people who are going to fly to that convention will be traveling here through Hartsfield Jackson. And there are so many wide ranging impacts in the wake of the attempted assassination of President or former President Trump. Now, Republicans at the convention were apparently encouraged not to say anything in the wake of the hours immediately after the shooting. We did talk with the chair of the Georgia Republican Party by phone, and some passengers here found out about it on social media. Here's what they're saying. I think it's always concerning when, like, you know, there's people trying to assassinate, like, potential presidents or past presidents. It's, um, it just, like, shows that there's a lot of division and, like, tension in the nation. Now, Christy, Christy, we know that uh, there was an office that the Trump campaign opened up in Athens yesterday. There was also an email that we got early this morning that was from the Biden campaign saying that an office that they plan to open up in Forsyth County, they're postponing that in the wake of this attempted assassination. Reporting from Hartsville, Jackson, Erica Murphy, 11 Alive News. Many people agreeing it's time to take a collective pause and uh, figure out how to ramp down this division as we move forward. Erica, thank you.